Hello, welcome to my fourth video on EDU blogs. I've showed you how to create a blog, I've showed you what your dashboard is, and I've showed you how to make a post, which is probably the most important part to running a blog. Fourth thing I'm going to do is show you how to categorize your blog posts. What you do when you categorize your blog post is you're separating each individual blog into a certain category. And what that does is it allows you to easily find posts uh, that you were looking for and it also allows people visiting your blog to maybe search for a certain kind of post um, and so what you do is you every time you write a blog you give it a category name you could give it multiple categories um, first thing we need to do though are set up your categories and this can be completely up to you what we need to do is go over to the posts um, tab on the left click the drop down area Third one down is categories. We're going to click on that link. And it's going to bring you to the categories page. Now as you can see, over here, this will be the space with all the categories you create. And as you add more, it'll grow. Right now, all I have is uncategorized. Because that's the only one. Uh, that's the one EDU blog starts you up with. What we want to do is make a new one, though. So we're going to go to the left, to where it says add new category. And we have to give it a name. And as it says, the name it, it the name is how it appears on your site. So this is what everybody will see. This is what you will see, what visitors will see. So since a big part of what we do in world history is CNN student news, I'm going to just give a category the CNN. Anytime you write a response to CNN student news, you'll tag it with this category name. Or you'll give it this category name. Um, now it says parent. What that means is you can separate categories into multiple levels. So you could have a CNN category and inside it a Monday category, a Tuesday category, so on and so forth. It's like creating a folder on your computer and then putting another folder inside of it and another folder inside of that. We're not going to mess with that right now. You could also give the category description. Don't really need to. It's up to you. I'm not going to though. Once you've added the new category's name, we're just going to scroll to the bottom, click on Add New Category. And as you can see, it's appeared in the category section. You can also edit the categories from here. Anytime you hover over it, you'll get the Edit, Quick Edit, Delete, or View part or option. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though. What I'm going to do, though, is go back and go back to the Posts area. And I'm going to make a new post. So we're going to go to Posts, Add New, and I'm going to call this CNN Student News 1017. This is my first CNN News response. So you wrote a response to a CNN, and now what you want to do before you publish, we're actually going to scroll down, and right below the Publish is Categories. And all we're going to do is click the little checkbox for CNN. And if you wanted to add any more categories and check it, you'd do it now. Then all we're going to do is publish. We've successfully added a category to your post. And these categories will grow and grow and grow. So we've added it. We made the post. Now let's go visit your site. Scroll down a little bit. You can see the two posts we've made and then if we look over to the left categories are listed and you can see CNN and a little one in parentheses that will show you how many posts each category has it's very simple 